hi guys welcome back to another youtube video so today i'm looking at seven self-destructive habits to avoid all right so before we get into the video please remember to like up the video comment on the video and to subscribe to the channel yes. so let us jump right into the video so the first self-destructive habit to avoid is comparing yourself with other people why it's best not to compare yourself with other people and nowadays we have um social media a lot of people portray themselves on social media like everything is going on well for them and behind the scene you don't know what's exactly going on <laughs> you know a lot of things um they put on social media some is true and some is untrue okay so you should not take the everything at face value what people put out there and try to start to compare yourself because you can end up with a lot of emotion you can end up with depression anxiety and all of those things and why it's best not to compare yourself with other people some people family are well off some people come from different backgrounds where their family is more upper class some people family are lower class you know and everyone is not um equal you know everybody's individual and some people have more support so when you start to compare yourself from, with other people, a lot of things can, you know, start up in that area. So it's best for, um, to manage your thought by being grateful, all right? Start to be grateful for what you have going well. And what's not going so well is just to try to find areas and ways to work on those things that's not going well so you can improve them. Also, you know, if you find that you are, are comparing yourself with your friends and, um, you know, that can have a little time of jealousy, you know, there, and that can cause bitterness and it can cause separation, you know? So try to work on those areas if you find that you are, you know, experiencing um, areas like that. The second thing, number two, to avoid is thinking too much what other people think about you or say about you while you are making making progress other people are staying behind you talking about you they are wasting time they are wasting valuable time talking about you thinking about you when you are uh, going ahead what other people say about you it's none of your business because if they're not um well enough to come and face it to say what they are saying in front of you. It's not of your business what they are saying behind you. They are not talking in your face. Say you are more important than them for them to take their time to talk about you behind your back. You are more important than them. You know, you keep on press on and leave them behind you. Let them stay behind you. Can you see where they are behind you? So you don't need to worry about what they are saying behind you. So you shouldn't think about that. Can't that can really get you down if you start to think about that and you start to lose focus when you start to think about what other people say about you and the main aim is for you to keep on pushing on and press on to reach that goal that you're working so hard to achieve so number three thing for you to avoid going out of your way to harm or hurt others that can be very very hurtful you know i can remember as a young girl growing up i remember my mom bought me shoes and the heel was so big you know and when i wear the shoes to school oh my days i had a difficult time in school yes the kids started calling me names you know call me names because i'm wearing that shoes nothing to do with me my parents bought it for me i had to wear it you know, and this all name calling. You know, at times I did not want to go to school because of that. At times I didn't go to school because of that. You know, so when you go out of your way to gossip, to talk about other people, that's a bad way of self-destructive. Because what you do to other people, you do to yourself. If you hurt other people, you hurt yourself because eventually, if it doesn't affect you right away, it affects your children or your family. What goes around always come back around. As a self-destructive habit, you will need to try and avoid. 
going out of your way to call people names, to gossip about people, to hurt people. That's a bad self-destructive habit that you need to avoid. Number four, self-arm. Sometimes caused because of abuse, yeah? Some people arm themselves by cutting their skin. Some people arm themselves by drinking too much alcohol. Some stem from low self-esteem, hurt or neglect as a child. And you know, feeling rejected. Being given, parents give you away, away at birth and you feel that you were rejected. That can cause you to end up with self-arm. Being raped as a child growing up, that can cause you to do self-arm as well. If in case you experience self-arm, to speak to someone that you can trust. Don't suffer in silence. It's very important and vital for you to get that necessary help that you deserve. It's not a crime for you to experience self-arm. It's just an emotion that gone wrong and you can be corrected. So speak to someone and seek that help that you deserve. Suffer in silence. There's help out there, lots of help out there for people who are going through self-harm, all right? So, the fifth self-destructive habit to avoid is physical neglect, yes? Physical neglect, like when you don't want to have a bath, you don't want to brush your teeth, you don't want to wear clean clothes, you don't want to cut your nails, you don't want to comb your hair, you know? That's self-destructive habit to avoid. You know, you're not taking care of yourself hygienically. Something is going on there. And if you've got family that has experienced this, try to give as much support and love as you can give. If you're working in the health field and you ex observe someone to be, be like this, you need to you know, draw to the attention, either from social service or you speak to that person and see what is going on. If you're that individual and you find that you're neglecting yourself, try to get to the, the bottom of the, the, the problem and see what is causing it. Number fifth, self-destructive habit to avoid. Grooming is very important. <laughs> so number six, self-destructive habit to avoid is refusing to be help. Yes, a lot of us sometimes feel that we don't need help from no one. Sometimes it's because we are prideful. It's sometimes because we always seek help and did not get it when we need it. As a result, we put up a fence. And sometimes we don't feel like we need help from no one and we are better than to take help. So no one is an island. No one stands alone. Everyone needs help. No one exists by themselves. So if you're going through that phase right now, it's an opportunity for you to look back and evaluate it. You can take help from someone sometimes. Even if you're a very independent person, at times you can step back and take help from someone. It's normal. So the seventh self-destructive habit to avoid is unnecessary self-sacrifice. Sometimes we want to help everyone and we like to say yes. As someone says something, we say yes. We don't think about the consequences. We don't think about what it may cost us, what if it's gonna hurt anyone, it's gonna cause harm in the long run. We just say yes, especially we overseas, when our friends or relatives call us and say send this or send that. We don't think about the bills that we have to pay here. We don't think about the things that we need to do. We are ready to say yes, and many of the time we are going out of our way. I remember when back in the days when I, you know, just give my life to the Lord and people would say, oh, I'm going to Birmingham and I take up my car and I'm driving all the way up to Birmingham. I'm not taking, thinking about the petrol. So because I like to say yes, but as a result of those behavior, it later trained me to know when someone asks me to do something, I think about it before I give an answer. And if I'm not sure, I will say to the person, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Sometimes we are going out of our way to help. It is good to help, don't get me wrong. But it should be a help that we can afford to give. Not, not we get going out of our way to do it. 
But these are my seven self-destructive habits to avoid. I hope you like my video. I hope you comment and I hope you subscribe to my channel. And if any one of these topics that I mentioned that you are experiencing, please stop and evaluate yourself and seek help if you really need help. Guys, remember God is love. Peace out. Remember to like, to share and comment and subscribe to my channel.